Hey YouTube, it's that guy here. Uh, today I'm bringing to you a vintage winger knife. As you can see, it's in a black Cador sheath and with the old style winger emblem on it. And here's the knife. The sheath, really nothing to it. Basically, black nylon. Something to carry it in because this isn't going to fit in your pocket very well. This is originally called the mini grip as there was a larger knife in the 120 130 millimeter range that had a fixed pair of pliers on it but it, it later became called the pocket grip. This is based on the 85 millimeter knife for your scales here. Standard size 85 millimeter with the pliers sticking out it's 120 millimeters which is four and a half inches the blade the master blade is 63 millimeters which is two and a half inches and fully opened including the pliers it's 149 millimeters which is five and seven eighths inch and just to show, let's see if we can focus on here. You can see the hopefully we can there we go. The tang stamp. And then on the back it has the W on it. And then it has it's a also has a wood saw which has a ruler on each side of the saw which is not common having a ruler on the saw one side is metric and the other side is standard and then right next to that if we can get it out there we go is the metal file metal saw coarse file on one side finer file on the other side then your opening layer the old style can opener lobster claw there and then your cap lifter screwdriver which does not lock in and does not have a half stop on it and on the back you have your awl and an interesting tool here a quarter bit driver comes off of that little stud there which will fold back in goes in the end and it'll take quarter bit drives and then you have your toothpick and tweezers in the scales your pliers as you can see are locked to lock and unlock them you have a little tab right here and you pull it back just a little bit it's kind of got a little bit of jimping there to pull it back and your pliers will work and to lock them in place you just push it forward to lock back in place under the handle is a compartment as your quarter inch bit drivers take it out and you have screwdriver handy little tool there and no wonder bit fell out so if the bits aren't in there correctly it's not going to lock in there and then it closes lock that in And that is your the pocket grip was originally introduced to the US in 1998. It was last seen on the website and the catalog in 2010. No longer made. When uh, Victor Knox bought out Wanger, they discontinued many of the models. And this was one of the ones that got discontinued. It's a cool little knife. I don't see me using it very much, but it's in my collection now. I just thought it was cool looking. It's one of those unique things. 
it's a little bit big it have to be carried in a sheath uh, finish on the specs on this thing the height on this is one and a quarter inches which is 32 millimeters the width is 26 millimeters which is one inch it weighs in at 230 grams which is 7.5 ounces so it's a little bit heavy to lug around again I can see where it could have come in useful but I think it's a little bit too bulky for me and I uh, prefer some of the newer knives where you have your bits in the pouch since you're going to be carrying it in the pouch you have the bits in there well that concludes my review for the pocket grip if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and remember always be prepared